guys. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Beauty Counter Brow Gel. And I'm going to be doing a quick little tutorial to show you how I use it in my everyday routine. I have been using a brow gel for a number of years now and um, I really feel like it does add a lot you know, to my, to my brows, um, just makes them a little bit more full, keeps them in place, all that kind of stuff. And, um, this one's awesome. I really, um, think this one lives up to its reputation for sure. And it's really comparable to any of the other brands I've been using. Um, it's really heavily pigmented, which is really nice because I think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of it. So let me show you how I put it on. So I'm going to open it up and I'm going to show you guys there's a little gloop of product on the end of it. I'm gonna wipe that off on a paper towel. Um, you always wanna make sure you're doing that because if you're not, that all that extra product on the tip of that brush is gonna get all over your brows and it's probably gonna be a huge mess. So I'm gonna grab my mirror and I'm gonna fill in one brow um, before and then do the other one just so you can see the difference. Um, and just to note, I have filled in my brows with a pencil today. I have a pretty full face of makeup on today and I always feel like I need a little extra help in that department. However, um, I have used this by itself on days that I don't wear a full face of makeup and it's awesome. I would apply it the exact same way that I'm applying it today. So just be aware that I do have my brows filled in, but this is exactly the way I would apply it anytime. So first I'm gonna do the front and I'm just gonna fill in to just gently combing the hair. You don't wanna push down too hard. You want a really, really, really gentle touch because if you don't have a gentle touch, what you're gonna end up doing is you're gonna press the product onto your skin, not the hair of your brow. You're really only wanting to coat the actual hairs on your brow. You're not trying to get it on your skin because it's gonna be a total mess if you do that. So as you can see, I've done one brow and then the other one. So there's not a huge difference, but as you can see, this one is just much more defined. Um, and that's true also if you haven't filled your brows in with a pencil. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do this one to Perfect. And you could do another coat if you wanted to, but like I said, like this is so heavily pigmented that you don't really need to do um, to dip twice. I've used, like I said, a number of brow gels and I feel like that um, a lot of them I have to dip twice. So I do this step and then I dip again to get the pigment that I wanted. I don't have to do that with this. So it's really awesome. Um, I've also worn it on a myriad of different occasions. So I've worked out in it. I've, you know, gone for a run in it, all that stuff. And it has stayed on. It doesn't smudge. It doesn't flake. Keeps my brows exactly the way they should be. And just all of that stuff that you should be looking for in a brow gel. So I am, I love this product so much. Um, I'm really glad because I wanted to love it so much. <laughs> when I heard the reviews and everything that people were talking about it, I really wanted to like it. And that's not always the truth. Sometimes something will be like, everybody's crazy about it. And I try it and I'm like, what? This isn't great. <laughs> but this one really is. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, that's my review. I'm absolutely loving it. And um, if you guys have any questions, just ask. I'm happy to help with application tips or anything like that, color matching, um, that kind of jazz. But yeah, that's my review. I love it.